He's been like that pretty much all year. You know, he maybe had one little scuffle, but he's been consistent. Like in my eyes, I think he he's probably needs to pitch at a higher level right now. I think coming out of spring training, he deserved to at least make that Elsinore team. I think just with prospects and roster uh, sizes, he was he had to come here and and start here. But he's proven to uh, to us and the organization that he deserves to to get a shot and move up. When I was sitting behind uh, with the scouts, I noticed with Jerry. It seems like he has the same motion on the ball can come at 92, he can come at 76, and you just literally could not tell when he was coming out of his hands. That what makes him so difficult for hitters at this level? Yeah, he's a, he's a sinker baller. You know, he has a tendency to kind of like hump up if he needs to, but um, he's not overpowering by any means. I think he has that in his back pocket if he, if he needs it, but I think the reason he's so effective is he's able to kind of sink it. He controls that curveball now. That is a new kind of a pitch for him. Um, that he kind of got last year, but now he's using it to, to still strikes early in the count and, and get ahead of guys. And um, you mix that with the command of a changeup and a sinker ball like that. At this level, usually that will dominate. I'm talking about how important it is to get a guy like him in here and pitching good night in and night out. Yeah, you know, it just it gives us confidence, you know, as the, the team goes out there on the field, they know uh, what to expect from him. They know. The infielders know they're going to get ground balls. They know they're going to um, be in the game more times than not with him. So for us, as an offense, it's put up some runs. You know, let's get out early and, and let him do his job. Are you happy to see Nate Easy kind of break out a little bit? He looked like he was uh, feeling pretty comfortable at the plate today. Yeah, he, he's a pro. You know, he obviously has the pedigree of his dad, and um, I know his dad really well. And you see the background that he comes from, and he has the work ethic and baseball savvy that you want on a team. Um, and he's up here every day trying to, to refine his swing, and he's been doing good things. You know, um, we'd like to see him kind of cut down the stroke a little bit and kind of put some more barrel to the baseball. Um, today, he was able to catch that, that breaking ball and, and knock it out, which was good for us. Insurance run, and it's good for his confidence as well. One of the things you think of sending Rod Boykin home on that triple, I mean, it's amazing how fast he can get around the base. Um, did I think about it? No, because I'm reading the ball coming in. You know, like, yeah. and got to play it safe with the. With nobody out like that, and get a runner on third base, and but now nah, we'll take we'll take the triple and be safe with it. Was this a crisp all-around game that you've been wanting to see um, with uh, defense pitching and hitting? Yeah, you know it's kind of looks like what we had in Lansing, besides the the amount of hits and the amount of runs, but um, that's how they played, and they can play like that if they really want to, and they focus and and they put everything together. It's just doing it day in and day out, and and making sure that we take care of the little details. How comforting is it knowing you can turn to Bednar at the end of games? He seems to have been really solid for you all this year. Yeah, you know, there's been ups and downs with the bullpen, but he's been a, uh, a constant all year. Um, him, Rogers, um, now Lopez looks like he's he's bringing something to the table when he comes into the game. Um, but yeah, Bed's a Bed's a pro. You know, he goes about his business the right way and has good stuff to follow it. And um, right now, you know, we look to get to that part of the game and put him in there as much as we can. You mentioned you knew Damian Easley pretty well. Is Nate a lot like his dad personality-wise? Um, yeah. In some aspects, yes. Yeah. Damian's really laid back and kind of quiet. You know, like me and him talk quite often because we both live in Arizona, and in the offseason we're out there kind of working with guys that are out there early. Um, he's a kind of a rehab coordinator for the position player side, so we're working together. Um, yeah, he has his dad's kind of his traits, but um, Nate might be a little bit more exuberant and kind of outgoing than his dad is, but all the less they're good guys. So. Does Nate fit in well so far? Yeah, yeah. No, he's he's a he's a good kid to have around. You know, he's a a college guy that's been around obviously the game for a while, and having his dad um, to look up to and to to lean on um, just gives these guys another kind of tool to to ask questions and get information and obviously improve their career. Anything new on Buddy? Buddy Reed. Um, what I've heard is. Two days ago, he played in five-inning game out there in Arizona, um, and everything went well. I think he was scheduled to play a nine-inning game either yesterday or today. Um, we'll see how that goes, and then um, kind of get a read on it from there.